Welcome back to the Open Goal FC podcast! <laughs> well, Life is silver, bud. Life is silver, bud. What is it, half six this morning, innit? <laughs> oh, early start. Just getting a half an hour ago. <laughs> By the way, we brought him in to save the podcast. Brock Watson. He to save the day. <laughs> you have me, The defo. Have you watched it, mate? Have you watched it? Oh, have I? It's uh, Put you to sleep, innit? Oh. <laughs> Put on before my bed, mate. Halfway through, I'm like that. <laughs> Tongue out, mate, like that. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> How are you, big kid, right, mate? Yeah, I'm good. It's big good co pilot. <laughs> I know, but we're thinking there, this is my last chance, eh? Actually, we've got a long left in this we're show. We're in the last chance in this show. in the middle of Silver Burn, don't know what they're we'll doing We'll not speak much today, Brock will speak all okay. This is a big day for you. That's what I'm saying, like, my first day, and we're in the middle of Silver Burn, like, put me under P or what? Aye, you know and what you've written about the coffees for everybody, mate, haven't you? I've been And the tightest there. guy in football. Well, yeah. That's a surprise, because you don't spend money. That's it. The gaffer came for me, saying that, uh, I'm tighter than cramp. <laughs> In the documentary. <laughs> you're tight with the gaffer, aren't you? Uh, He's tight with uh, One yeah. of the boys texts me saying you used to put your car into neutral going down hills. <laughs> no word there, lie. Is, that, is that, that true? That was true, <laughs> aye. That was true. No, because I used to do a lot of travelling from Musselburgh to Lennoxtown every day. So like when there was hills and that, I would just put it in neutral and just let it roll. It's good for the fuel aye, economy. Save, save, save the planet. Save the economy, you're right. Save, save the planet. A few birds walking by you and all, by the way. Mate, they're probably looking at me like, because they're definitely <laughs> no use to you anyway. No with that here. Mate, the barn is brilliant, mate. He's not got much long, I know I'm going bald, but you've not got much longevity in that, is it? Well, my He's da- hanging on, that's all a for show, isn't it? My dad and my brother, well, my dad's went bald, but I'll be away to Turkey before I go bald anyway, that's for sure. There's your dad early glasses on. Hi, <laughs> <Like> John. Hi, <laughs> <Like> John. <laughs> Boys, last night. Team night out, wasn't it? How, how good was it? Amazing. Was it? Have you ever seen that? Go- we went to Bucks Bar last night, just for just for a dinner, quiet night, and then the full team were up singing at one point. Uh, wasn't it? I wonder who started what that. He's, uh, what were you singing? <laughs> he's, what he's won the, the court of the season cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually what it was, was, because it has been very intense, as you know, for the start. And when you've got that wee opportunity, we've not got a game this weekend. So we thought there's no point in training the full week, you know what I mean? So it, was, it was good that we'd never trained there because it's a team bonding thing as well. Eh? It was just so important. It was good, I, I enjoyed last night. Brothers was decent, what was it? You sung oh, as well. Right you were doing dance moves and Backstreet you? Boys. Mate, oh, you I, were getting it the hell up there, eh? It was Slaney set me off with that suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best suits in history, that <laughs> Mate, leather. So good. Did you see the suit he was wearing? Ah, the tan leather. Oh, full leather. leather. Mate, Mate, soaking but sitting there. Do you feel I, did, I did look at the I look at the picture on Instagram last night. I couldn't see his face. Uh, just kind of blended in with the tan leather. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't believe. No, some days I like to sit back in a team like that. Uh, crack, crack that song in it. <laughs> I'll try to shut I was down here, isn't it? <laughs> so, bro, what I can't believe in brothers is sitting back watching you all last night, thinking this field team came in in the summer. Need to know each other and see how well everybody gets on. Oh, knitted well together. It's amazing that how is quickly it? that's happened, Good. isn't it? Though. Uh, well, I think. Uh, like the bro- the gaffer obviously met us all before, like we signed. So he's broke personality into the changing room, so which is, is good. Eye. Like he knew who he was bringing in. Like for instance, like me and Semps, we've been pals for years, uh, and we just bounce off each other. Like oh, he so, told me last night he didn't really like you. <laughs> hey, it's, it's me and Semps have got loads of stories. That's for another time. I for will the bring podcast. Semps on. We will get him one. Mate, me and Sam's have had, done so much together, but... Need a wide camera. He's <laughs> 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 not that new, though, isn't he, the boy? He's not that new. Uh, what, we've got two of them now. What about his wee bra? He's on His wee bra? Mate, his wee bra's coming for me, eh? Constantly. By the way, I've not seen you do much back to him. Uh, mate, I've he's a wee guy, <laughs> mate. I can't just come for him, eh? He's a wee I'll guy. I'll absolutely ruin him. What's the age difference between the two bras? Uh, I think... I think it's like three years, eh? Oh, yeah. Mini Semps is 18. You've got the power hose company? Yeah, I need to uh, pressure wash brothers' his teeth, they're <laughs> off the yelly. He's what I won last night, you know, mate. Away, I'm just obviously running my business. Uh, dream power clean, by the way. Um, <laughs> get that out there. <laughs> Good promo for it. Uh, aye, so I do that. you'll be doing that full time. Aye, well, I do that, so, and, but it's because it's the summer. It's, it's quite hectic, like it's yeah. nine in the morning, you can work till eight, nine at night, and then you've got your football as well, so it's quite a busy schedule, but I love it, eh? Rogers, you've um, been in obviously lots of dressing rooms. How special do you think this dressing room is? Ah, it's up there. That's what I was saying to Sai last night. 
after we had the meal, oh, I was so full. What a meal, by the Hot's way. Hot's bar, amazing, oh, isn't it? The portions are huge. A joke, Did oh. anybody actually finish a plate of buckets? Jim Lowe, oh, Jim Lowe because... finished everybody's, didn't he? Oh. That's the quietest I've heard Jay Lowe in months, mate. He just cleaned up eating everybody. He's mate, he came in all lady and then he just started tucking in, mate. He was silent. Yeah, like he he was what did he ask for last night, though? Oh, that was funny as hell. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've told you this. Uh, so, we're obviously, we've ordered something. He's came in half cut, hasn't he? I uh, think he had a few pints before it. And uh, we've sat down and the lassies came over. He was like, excuse me, can I order food? I'm a wee bit later. So, lassie comes over. And he goes, what do you want? And he's like, uh, can you give me a, just a hamburger with chips? So the lassie kind of looks at him like squint, and I'm thinking, what? So anyway, <laughs> I was like, ah, what are you on about? So anyway, she comes back with his food, and it was a chicken burger. And he's like, ah, what the fuck's this? It's a chicken burger. I went, J-Lo, it's called fucking Bucks Bar, no beef bar, pal. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. No, it was great last night, wasn't it? Oh, it was brilliant, mate. You it started was. it straight off, though. Well, yeah, we got the boys up singing, didn't we? Every nah. one is up singing. In the music. Individually? I felt so Individually. There's two couples sitting as well. Oh, I felt so <laughs> sorry for them. Every one, I know. Because <laughs> we're just doing for a wee. It was just a general thing. What one? The one in the Mercy City? Trongy. Aye, Trongy, aye. Yeah. Two couples sitting. Quite small up, still. They're all up singing. Ah, and ah. The, the, the missus is just sitting, pissing yourself, and the guy's sitting there. And he was all over the place. Aye, aye. he didn't want to turn around and look me. And then, Imagine right. that, like you go out far. It's a Monday night. I was telling the story. Go and shut up for a minute. <laughs> when do you call me? Mate, it's a Monday night. Do you know what I mean? Like, I you're, know, it's busy. You're out, to, you're out to go for food Aye. with your missus, like, I just a chilled one, you think you're coming to Bucks Bar. And then next thing you came, we're all up on the table, being at hell with the <laughs> taps off. You oh. you disappointed me about your story, didn't you? Ah. Uh, I'm not saying that story. No, you can't. Why that, did you not sing last night? <laughs> Mate, I've not got the vocal cords for it. I heard oh. it. it sounds like you've been singing with that voice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking shattered. What did you carried you for the last three games. <laughs> what did you stay after it? Did you sh- it was a quiet one, wasn't it? He had to get him, his missus texted him. <laughs> I was in the doghouse. Nah, wasn't he? Uh, Definitely what? had to get him because your missus texted him. Nah, I, I know. Wasn't it? See yeah. me, I, uh, if I have two drinks, I can't just go out for a couple, eh? Like, ah, you do it all night. And seeing my heat, I get steaming, and I think oh, I'll be fine tomorrow, and I feel amazing and stuff like that. But I'm no, I'm absolutely dying the next day. I'm delusional in my own heat. I can't have just a couple because I just go tonto. So I need to just either go for it or done it. So was you that, have any were you, at all? Were you the night before nah. when I played against you last year at Cove and you were at Inverness? Because <laughs> he's telling the, he's yeah, telling fact, the I left, remember you in my back he's, pocket. He, he's telling the left back he's the League One Messi. That's what, told, that's what he said. Told the left back. I remember the, the early, early, the early part Two of the season. Two games later, I get released. <laughs> <laughs> the early part of the season, Sai says, "Oh, we signed this guy, Cab Brought Watson. He came in. You know what he said? His first shite was in the training. He said, uh, told the boys, it's going to be raining goals this year with me and the no, team. No, I say there's no fucking can, squad, uh, man. Your leg turns to jelly. Let his feet. <laughs> mate, cabbage toast. Mate, mate, see, I'm doing everything bar at the net, eh? Like it's inside the bar, inside the bar. Maybe you should try hitting the ball first. Carry my foot just crumbles, eh? I did the stanky leg once, I'm about to take a shot, I'm like that. <laughs> Roger, see, we, um, few, I mean, I think it was two weeks ago, we were sitting there and we'd been, we'd been beat twice. No three in the bounce, what a feeling it is, isn't it, mate? Definitely. Good week for us, because especially Saturday was a hard one Aye. to go away there. And the boys team, are we not? Because we went 1-0 down and we never done that the two previous games. Yeah. And we showed good character to come back. And then, to be fair to Bonnes, they come back into it and they, they got the equaliser, but... The boys picked up, and to be fair to Brock, he put in a decent cross for once in the first nine games, <laughs> and uh, we RT put it away. But no, it was a good week for us as a club. I think you're right. I think Saturday though, Brock was the, the other two. Obviously, we went at home, and we, you're at home, and all that. You've got that sort of the pitch and the big pitch, and all that. But going away um, and sort of getting through a game like that said a lot about us, didn't it? Aye, well, we went we went one 0 down, didn't we? Aye. And it didn't they feel as if we took the foot off the gas or anything like that? Um, did you see? So I was getting pelters for the side. But did you hear them all? They no. were giving you a bit of stick on over the nose. That's what I'm saying. He caught my ma mattress. <laughs> <laughs> You're more. Aye, Is so that the wee guy behind the dugout? Who, my ma? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was a ball that went over the top. I've chased it down. It's went out for a throw in, and they've gave it to our team. And I was getting the line on it, thinking, like, that's our ball. That's our ball. And the fans at the side are saying, you sharp, you long-haired warrior and all that. <laughs> Number 10, you're passion that. 
So, obviously, I've got the ball, took it down the line, whipped it in, we scored the third goal. So I've just run up the line and started cupping my ears and all that, like, shh, and all that. They're like, I'll see you after the game and all that. They were mad to me, Mate, they, they were nuts. And then we went to the social club after it. I was shiting myself. So was was well, you've not seen the photo? <laughs> <laughs> Sems, Sems gave that boy a wee bit and all the players ran on. and Brock's like, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Do you get the common old massive doing for the home game, eh? We do. I think we need to get like a young support with our drums or something. Drums or like something. That. Like that. Get Hardy. Said that, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Get Hardy, Frankie, and Jude to start off a. Aye. Well, see if you don't get your finger out, you could get that job. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I think I'm just going. To... What was it? The game? I was like, ah, I'm gone. I'm no, I'm no coming back. It was after you know, the last five, last five games. games <laughs> Did you watch your documentary? Aye. Brilliant. It was good. Eh? Amazing, mate. Wasn't it? Gaffer sounded a wee bit like brothers when he was doing the talking. Eh? His voice was a wee bit away. Aye, he's just first first the first part of it. How do you see, seriously, how do you feel with that sort of thing, with the, with the sort of cameras there or doing a documentary? See, this will be new, new for you, sir. You, you'd have had this with Rangers and clubs you played for. Obviously, Brock, starting off at Celtic, bit of a journey to end up snarling your open goal. Aye. You've probably not had this media scrutiny around a team that you've been involved in in terms of playing every week. How do you see it and how do you think the other younger boys in the team see it and feel? See, to be honest with you, Kev, I didn't, I didn't, like, you didn't really notice the cameras no, there. No, I don't. Like, because obviously yep. it's a fly on a wall, and there's sometimes you say, like, in the changing room, like, obviously boys will be boys, and you say something, you're like, shit, I hope they've not caught that on the camera. But you didn't really notice it's no. there, to be honest with you. Um, and I didn't mind doing the media side of things, like, obviously, with interviews and things, I've done it since I was a young age, and I didn't bother with it. Eh? You, um, you must be used to that pressure. Cause remember when you, you were in the car and you said you were the... The League Two's highest transfer ever. Is that true, that statement? So League, two, uh, League Two's highest transfer. And he was at, he was in the back, he's like, for fuck's sake, what have I done signing here? What did he jump out the car? <laughs> How much did you go for? He's, he kicked me in the back. Wouldn't let me sit in the front. Front. I said, a shambles, by the 23-year-old. Didn't let him sit in the front that Mate, whole The king was sitting in the front, <laughs> in the back, you. Move. 38. <laughs> I was, the legs I was at the back. I used the excuse that I, uh, I got car sickness and brother was like, okay, I'll sit in the back, no worries, bro. I was like, good boy, sit down. <laughs> so, we need to, what about my main sponsor today? Are we going to mention them or are we too late? Just a wee second, okay, you're, 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 you're spot on, but what I'm going to say is we've got a free weekend. I want to know what you two are getting up to. No game. He's going away for it, treating the family. I'll bet the arcade, mate. He'll bet the arcade. Try arcade, to get a couple of nudges. Stopping, isn't it? Is it quiet doing it with it, brothers, now with the, the kids coming back to we school? We bet, aye, but the next few weeks, because the shows are there, it'll be busy, and it's the September weekend, so need to be done. Can we get time away, mate, to chill out? Cash no, is mate, king, can. Paul. Cash is king. Bro, what are you doing? Power I've host? got, uh, it's actually my two-year anniversary. It's came at a good time, so I'm so in love, eh? You're, you're loved up, oh, mate, aren't you? I love my missus. Two-year anniversary? So two-year anniversary, Kevin. But I'm married? honest. Mate, I'm so in love, eh? I love you it. You've seen a video there the two years ago, it was shocking, mate, wasn't it? Are you, you in love, eh? Well, yeah. Uh, TikTok. Is she the one? He's, 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 he's in your TikTok. I just seen a TikTok there. Yeah. Aye, my, mate, my buds killed me eh, on TikTok a wee bit, like. Eh, but I'm going to. I'm actually going to the Dakota for Sun 8, and we're having a night over for our two year anniversary. So nice. good for you, mate. I'm Got treating the mission. Good question, eh? eh? See, I actually said to her, mummy, eh, um, I think I'm going to go down in one knee and ask her to marry me when she's 21. She went, no, you fucking no. no. I went, how no? She went, far too young. Too young. And then I, I thought about it, I was like, there's no chance I'm getting married yeah. for another five, six no. years. No, you're your whole life ahead of you, You're son. too I'm tight to buy a ring. <laughs> Aye, definitely, mate. <laughs> Got to keep the pennies in the bank, eh? You get a wee discount here for Silverburn and Beaver Bricks for you? Aye, hopefully. Do you sort me out? I've sort you out. <laughs> Right, boys, obviously, we wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for who knows when's the greatest sponsor on earth. Yes. And it, Kev, now last week, lads, it was shambolic start for was Frank. It? Frank, go, wait, hear this. Three out of ten results, correct? I mean, that's embarrassing. That doesn't surprise me. Frank, this is no way else, New York, New York, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is a wind up here. Congratulate, a huge congratulations to Ars, Monotech 81, <laughs> Geneva, Cali 33, and Julie Sky Blue 40, who topped the leaderboard after week one and received 2,000 each for nine out of ten correct predictions. That's Unbelievable. Good, one Ryan, you'd think well brought you, if you ever, you kind of bet, obviously, but if you ever put a bet on and you've got one Ryan, you're beat, your head's doing your greeting. One Ryan, one two grand yeah. each. That's amazing, eh? Unbelievable. You have a wee sort of who knows wins pitch. I'm just putting you in the spot here. If you're trying to advertise who knows win, do what you need to do. Don't embarrass you yourself. Know you're doing well. Come oh, on, no, who knows I'm win? Shaking. Uh, who knows when? What a 
sponsorship. Leave it, sit the back <laughs> down. Embarrassing. Don't Thanks. do that again, please. <laughs> Download it. Who knows when app to play it and join the Scottish Pick <laughs> 10 League for your chance to win big cash <laughs> and the monthly prize of a signed open goal broom. Hill oh. FC top Kev, you'll deliver me in the taxi with a tap on and they need to drive Have we got a winner yet, Paul? Have we got a winner yet? No. Ask it. Big ass Moro Tech will be what now. <laughs> so big ass Turned up at his door and he's got his fucking arse out of the letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> hear him, hear boys. <laughs> in you go. Just deliver it in there. <laughs> Sucks it in his ass. Just post it in there. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at man, you've been brought. You've got it all gone again today. I know. I you've saved the podcast. Yeah, I think. Has... You. You're listening just right back to the summer. You met Sai. How did that meeting go? See, to be honest with you, I was like brothers. So uh, I was actually on a night out with one of my pals, Regan Hendry. And uh, he texts Regan saying, Jink, he'll sign for me. And I was blitz. And I said, text him back saying, aye, if you give him a fucking packet, he'll come to you. <laughs> Didn't they realise then? So I was thinking like, oh no, I'm not going to open goal. I had offers in League Two that I was speaking to managers in League Two that I was probably close to signing me. And then uh, my pal Regan stitched me up. Well, he never stitched me up because it's worked in hindsight worked it, really right. good. Gave uh, the gaffer my number and he phoned me. We went and I went and met the gaffer. And I don't know about you, but see, once the gaffer spoke to me, he dragged me in, eh? Like, he was so good the way he spoke. And I was like, shit, like, I want to be part of this. I think you said this exact same thing. Yeah. Like, the way the gaffer speaks, it really convinces you to sign, eh? I know. And I thought, I'm going to sign there, like, why not, eh? What was the wee thing? Did you try, kid, or not, but you needed more money or something? <laughs> Mate, that's what I'm saying. The gaffer was saying I was tighter than cramp. That's a shambles. So what was the deal with that, though, when you that's met? That's true, though. What, that I'm tighter than cramp? I've text three players and that was the first thing they text back yeah I can't get this name for myself eh oh, but what was that one did, did you try kicked on or something you needed more money like, it's, right, it's a true story business. <laughs> it's a true story a dividends I've heard that so, one that, it's a true story so the gaffer like he offered me what he offered me and I said to him look I've been offered this for an R team if you can give me an extra 25 quid I'll sign me it and it was just like a simple statement and he was like, aye, aye. I was like, the only reason that I need an extra £25 is because I didn't take a wage for my business, I take dividends. So I need to prove that I can pay for my car, live my lifestyle yeah. with my football wages. So I had, I had a figure in my head that I need to get into my account every month so that I can say to the tax man that that's what I'm paying for. And I told him, eh, and he was, he was absolutely yeah. pushing his cell, eh? like he was buckled, and he's like, right, right, I'll try my best to do what you can, and then goes and sleeps me on the fucking podcast. Good on him, I love that. Ah, yeah. he's good. But did, what was, was there anything, I don't want to go to the Lowland League, even if you spoke to Sai, or was that it? To be honest with you, um, so obviously I had the offers for League Two, um, and I was thinking, Dropping down to the loan league, everybody said once you go down to the loan league, it's hard to go back Aye, up. Don't. But I believe in this project. Yeah. I believe that we can do something really special this year and go up to League Two. What, what's actually stopping us? You've got players like Brothers and things like that that are well experienced. <clears throat> uh, I've personally won League Two myself. Like I came what it takes to win leagues. You need the changing room. You need to hang it. <laughs> league winner. <laughs> but you're spot on because listen, it is hard work to win any league or whatever, and Sai knows that. But Sai doesn't want to be managing the lowland league. His obvious aspiration is to go up the leagues and go up the league. Obviously, it's going to be difficult. But most of them are just going to win the league, but mm. it takes hard work. But you, I, I see that when I speak to Sai as well. He doesn't want to just be managing their brothers. Maybe yeah. the same as well. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. There's, the, there's the examples of sorry, to interrupt you, brothers. There's That's examples right. of Cove, Kilty, and Bonnie Rig Rose. If you feel that you can get out of this league, they're the examples that you can. And that, to go up, so like, what is Cove? Cove? Cove's now in the championship. championship right? Right? So, like, w within how many years? What we're talking? Four years? Five years? That's not a long project. When you're sitting, you're 23 years old. Somebody turns around and says to you, like, if you stick with this project and say it goes the way that the Cove model, you get to 27, 20 years old and you're sitting playing championship football in yeah. Scotland. Well, that's, uh, that's what I said to the gaffer once I met him. See, if it's going to be like it needs to be professional because I, I signed with Cove once we were in League Two, so we won League Two and then we were in League One. The thing for me about Cove was it was so professional, eh? mm -hmm. like really professional. Even like the backroom staff and then the gaffer, the kit man, everyone was just so professional about it. There was nothing to we didn't have an excuse to fail basically. They yeah. gave us everything we needed Aye. as players and that was amazing. And that's why I think that club is doing so well because of the standards it's that set. they set. Yeah. 
But don't don't get me wrong though. I think the hardest challenge is to go out the Lowland League. Oh, aye, oh, I see. So yeah. it is. That is I think once, if, if, you, if you can get out there, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I think it will be easier to go through the leagues than it is the yeah. Lowland League. Aye, because it's, it's all right winning the Lowland League, but aye. you still then need to go and play yep. a Highland League team to try and get into it. Yep, and, and then, then play, play the, bottom the winner of the bottom of the league too. So that's aye. your. It's, aye, and it's super I've not found any. I've not seen it sort of any easy team. No, no, no. Bang right at it when we've won. Let's say a good score yep. line or whatever. Been you hate Dell, don't you? <laughs> I hate him. Ah, you don't like him. Do <laughs> I love Dell, man. Dell's some boy like He's amazing isn't he? Ah he's turkey teeth need to go though Imagine <laughs> guy that age with This teeth. guy's obsessed with teeth eh? <laughs> Mate you need to have a nice smile like You need to have a nice set of nostrils You're struggling <laughs> That's why I never smile mate <laughs> You're like ah how you your teeth? <laughs> right Brock How long were you at Celtic for mate? I was at Celtic 12 years uh, What did you mean? I 12 Under years Under 4s uh, Disney couldn't mate What age were you when you went in there? So I was 7 Till I was 18. So is that 12 years? 11 wow. years. Yep. Um, the club done more than enough for me. I loved it. Eh? I, I actually moved out of my house when I was 13 and went and stayed in Diggs and went to the school project. Oh, did you, mate? So I. So I cock and tell us? Aye. I literally stayed 50 yards for the school. So honestly. Did you stay in that big house up the top of the hill with Mick Oliver? Aye, Mick Oliver, that's aye. what I stayed with, aye. There you go. And we had the upstairs to ourselves. It was honestly amazing. And it, it matured me so much quicker, eh? away from home. Um, aye, because I was 13 and stuff like that. So now I didn't actually bother going away from home, eh? Because I'm used to You've it. Well, it. who was your team? Who started coming through? Uh, who was the players in it? Mikey Johnston. Uh, he's just went on loan to yeah. that Portuguese team. Well, stuffy that you know. Aye. Um, my reserve team was like, uh, do you know, Jack H and plays with aye, Burnley, aye. Regan Hendry, Calvin Miller. Uh, players that have all went down to England. Robbie Dees. Robbie, aye. Robbie's good pals with Robbie. Uh, he's quite a character. He, he doesn't say the same about you, though. <laughs> Robbie's, a, Robbie's a good guy. Good defender as well, Robbie. Aye, Robbie's got a good chance. Does he, aye? Well, you know him obviously better because you've seen him recently, but I've no. I played with him last year. He's got a, got a very good Has chance to go to the top high? level, aye. Aye. Definitely. Who was, so you, did you ever train with the first team? I I played in three friendlies with the first team. Eh? Who was the manager then? Brendan Rogers. Was he? Aye. What played, was he like, Brock? He was amazing, mate. Was Honestly. he? Honestly. So I was up at Lennox Town and, and Brendan Rogers came in. And so like there used to be like square sausage, bacon and all that. He wiped all that out. It was like this fancy bread. It was all the healthy stuff. He was strict on body fats. Like just changed the club from top to bottom. And obviously the results shown on the park. Yeah. He went on the quadruple treble and things like that. But it blew me away how amazing was he his was. training brilliant? Oh, aye, superb. Is it, mate? Superb, aye. And what was the three games you played, sorry? So, I played against St Johnston in a friendly. It was Scottish Sinclair on the left, me on the right, Moussa Dembele through the middle. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the great front three, that, mate, innit? Mate, that is a frightening front three. I won a penalty and everything, innit? Did and you? they didn't let me Who's take it. Against? I shot the bed, to be fair. Musa picked up, I was not taking off of him. On you go, mate. Was he, was he as loud when you went up to the first team? Nah, nah, where's the fuck? You, you're, uh, it's quite daunting when you first go up nah, because course, obviously these are big Season professionals, pros, and, yeah. and you didn't have any like pals in the first team because <clears> there's like kind of a gap between the first team and the resis. And didn't get me wrong, first team players were good with the resis, but once you go up, you just kind of. It's like you're another number at first. Of course. You're just aye. filling in, to be honest. And uh, aye, it was quite scary, but I loved it. I loved it, eh? Brothers, what about you when you see when uh, with Rangers and any, was there any young boys that came through that were having themselves for a bit big time when they first came into the training? Aye, probably me, Stevie Lennon. Remember him, the aye, striker? Aye. I, I quite liked it, though, because they Do you not mind that with young the, players coming They've in? got a wee bit about themselves right. and they think I should be here. Mm -hmm. So they're not scared to take the ball, whereas you get a couple that come up. They just hide and they just get through training. Aye. And and that's what you want. You want these guys that will come up and say, I, I deserve to be here, I want to be here. Yeah. And I, I can imagine you were a wee bit like that, coming up and wanting the ball and, Aye. and taking it. I didn't and that. shy away from it. That's all. what I mean, but then yeah. when you get into that final third, you would miss the ball and things <laughs> like that. But. My latest foot would kick in. <laughs> Is Cal Naismith right at Rangers with you? Cal, aye, Cal's another one. What was one. he like? Cal was, Cal was quiet though, aye, I thought. Was he? He was a good lad. Cal was quiet, aye. No, no, the guy he is now. You can see good ability, aye. but he was, he was quiet, it was but it's quiet, but stupid. He was a striker when aye. he came through at Rangers. Now he's what, playing centre back at I Bristol know. City. He's a confident boy though, isn't he, Cal? Aye. Aye, I think he believes in himself. And yet, you're, he's got a bit of 
a bit of, probably a bit like him, a bit of a swagger about Aye. him. Joking that, but deep down he's got a, a conscience that knows he has to work hard to be successful. He was always in the gym, Cal. I was liked he, that. Aye. Like, aye. Cal would always come out. I actually done a few workouts with Cal. Like, he would always been in the gym battering it, working hard. You could see he had a chance, he did the ability. Yeah. I thought there was a few at Rangers. There was a boy, Rory Loy, as aye, well. He was doing Rory, aye. Yesterday, the, the Rangers magazine, and he'd been in the magazine. <laughs> to be fair to him, he would say, if it wasn't for injuries, I'd be Rangers number nine. And you, we've got Boydie at that time scoring 30 goals a year. Were you there when uh, Wee Flecky came for it? Aye, Wee Flecky was, was another one. When he was younger then? That's what I mean, 16 year old. Was he played, old firm, he? I played the old firm, played the Scottish Cup final. Just you could see he had so he much ability. He's got that about him, when he goes into training but, all right. Aye, but Flecky was so quiet though. Aye, he was quiet, wasn't he? So he was, but you could see when he turned the ball, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Mate, I've just came up with something. Can you <laughs> please tell us the story, what happened with the eggs? <laughs> this guy's brought this up. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> He's coming for me. I'm no, I actually, want to, I actually want to know the story because <coughs> a few people have said it to me. What actually happened? Because it was the old firm, wasn't it? No. Was it no? The David old firm. <laughs> or was it no? See, you need to get your stories right. I did my research, didn't I? See, I was injured at the time, so oh, I'll bring it up. There's no Sorry, problem. Aye, just clear it up for I'll the I'll clear it up boys. for you. <laughs> See, he's trying to get this in here, brothers, before you come for him. That's all right. I, I'm, I wasn't going to bring that He's for me, stuff. though. No. A, a couple well, of times at the start. But... Mate, I've got the footage to see you missing the ball. <laughs> you can put the clips in, eh? <laughs> ah, you can put the clips in. No, no so they, they got enough tape made to be fair, I was, uh, I was going to go and boil a uh, poach an egg, and I put the the glass in the microwave, but I didn't even put the egg in. I put the wrong glass in, opened the, the microwave, and the glass exploded, and it caught me there, and I went to the hospital. <laughs> this is true story. Go to go. And. Uh, they asked you, what were you doing? I says, well, I was going to go and put an egg in the, the bowl. <laughs> but I never actually put the egg in, but the, the glass exploded. And somebody at the hospital sold the story saying an egg exploded in my face. <laughs> God's on his truth. See, to be fair, I, I searched it before I came here, Kurt Broadfoot egg. And it came up, uh, Walter Smith's confirmed that Kurt Broadfoot will only play in the old firm because... A, an exploded egg or something. That's a lie, I had an operation. I never missed any training with that. See, did you people know? know uh, no. Did anybody in the team, but was the boys on you for that banter wise or Walter Smith? Aye. Aye. There must have been some yokes about that. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, is this turned on to me? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, mate, but um, that, you've cleared that up though, like, do you know what I mean? I don't mean? care, mate. Aye, exactly. It, it happens in life, <laughs> so shit happens. Not Listen, mean, brothers, like. I've been in the same position all the years ago when I burnt my boys. In Sunderland. <laughs> what? I got rushed to AE, fucking wee man coat kept the fucking boiling hot water around my boss and I had to go up to AE and the says, see what's wrong with me. I says, tell us what's wrong with me. Cock was hanging off. <laughs> so somebody sold a story and then I, I was front paid scalding That's balls. What I mean. It happens, mate. That's, but how's never. your boss now? Oh, right. great, mate. Four kids, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> performing well. Oh, well, I don't know if they're performing well, but they're working. <laughs> Bro, you remember when we were going for Celtic, who was the standout players, mate, for you? It's Mikey Celtic. Johnston. Is he so? A lot of Celtic, not a lot of Celtic fans. I think some Celtic fans. I'm not sure if he's could start for Celtic every week. I know he's in loan now, but is he that? Is he that good? Honestly, he was like the Scottish Messi. Like I'm no kidding. He was like the Scottish Messi. Honestly, was he amazing? Mate, yeah. amazing. Like was could it? skip by anybody. Even when he went up to train with the first team when he first broke in, he was just absolute walks and pass folk. Eh? And to be fair to him, he's not been helped with injuries. No. Um, I feel actually quite. Shan for him because his injuries. It's holded him it's held him back a yeah, bit. Of course. Um but if he if he didn't have the injuries and he was playing every week, I've no doubt that he'd be a Scotland internationalist, he would have probably got a big money yeah. move because he was that technically good and he was just so sharp. I could I've never seen anybody move so like him. Positive when he gets when he gets the boys always going at people. Uh, Still young enough though that Ah yeah, definitely. Like uh, I he texted me when he was going over to Portugal and I say he's like good luck. And this isn't now a time for him to just kick on because yep. he could do it. Like, of course, mate, he right. could get himself back to top. As you say, he's young. Um, he's the same age as myself, and he's such a nice guy as well. Eh? Aye, he's maybe one of those. That, <laughs> he's maybe one of those <laughs> that boots, need man. to leave Celtic to go and get his career going again. Maybe Play the weekend, pressure's off the fishbowl. Go away, and then maybe get him. He's re rejuvenate his career and, and maybe come back another time because maybe maybe he'd just been there too long and maybe no. Like started off, everybody was excited about him. Yeah. A lot of bad injuries, and people think, oh, he's a bit of a myth, this, that, and the other. 
maybe the hype's kind of caught up. Maybe time to just go away and hopefully in Portugal he can do that and he might come back a different guy or the girl. Well, people think he's not actually part of the squads. Yep. And that's not the case whatsoever. Like People, like, you get keyboard gangsters behind a screen. You get them everywhere. And uh, he's not been in the squads because he's been injured. Yep. That, that's it. It's, every time he's been fit and he's been training, He's been in the squad for Celtic. When he first broke onto the scene, he was scoring goals yep. like in the Europa League, I think it was, mm -hmm. qualifiers and things like that. He'd done big Wallace. Did you see Wallace? He gave him the stanky leg. Wallace was like Drake, man, doing all this and that. <laughs> he was falling over and all that and honestly embarrassed him. And that's what he can do when he's fully fit. Ah, but to be fair now, I, I can't see him getting in the Celtic team now. Nah, the wingers. nah. nah. You're, you're maybe right, but... Oh. He... If he has a, a good season, what's stopping him no, from, as KFC is going back to the top and yeah. then fighting for his place at yeah. So that, on that, the likes of you, you were at Celtic, you then left to go to Mullerwell. Yeah. Because sometimes you have to leave a big club, just like Paul left Mullerwell to go to Celtic. How was Mullerwell? How did that happen? Mullerwell. Oh, Craggs was your manager, wasn't oh, he? Oh, was mate. he? Big curly toe. Aye. <laughs> Superb. Craggs is some boy, so obviously when I came for Celtic, we got like the Parks of Hamilton buses and stuff like that, with tables and stuff like that. And uh, we've got this bus, I don't know, to the game, and it's like an absolute shed, mate. It was Terry's. Mini bus like, it was honestly so Terry's. And uh, it was like a shed, and uh, Craggs is at the wheel. <laughs> everybody's, <laughs> everybody's silent before the game. And uh, Craggs is absolutely ripping the ass out of this bus. And I'm sitting there, new boy, like, what, am, what, is, what is he doing? And he goes round the corner and it's so silent. I just go, <laughs> like getting like a handbrake turn as if he's hanging. And he's looking in the mirror like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> Everybody was pushing us the LA. And every time he was going round the corner, I was going, <laughs> like he was skidding round the corner. Eh? Did you go on with Craig's? Aye, me Craig's. Craig still texts me sometimes to this day. Like if he was doing a game when I was at Cove, like he'd message me um, saying I'm going to slaughter you and stuff like that. But uh, Craig's likes it, man. I like the stuff no, you've course, said about yeah, him. He, he, does, he loves that. Yeah. Like he can dish it out. It's a bit like myself with brothers. I dish it out. He gives me back, and you just accept it. Eh? It's Who part was? Of the game. Um, did you play with Turnbull, my love? Aye, aye. Uh, was he un? Was he unbelievable? Doesn't he give the ball away, mate? He doesn't he give the ball away. See in our phone box, you wouldn't get the ball for him, eh? Honestly, <laughs> he just touched. Is he that good then, aye? Aye, like he just. It was honestly you couldn't attack him in training because he would just get the ball, pass it, or he would turn you. And like his price tag speaks for himself. This was when we were playing in the Reses, so he was miles above. Uh, but what a player he was! Were you in holiday with him when the Celtic move was meant to happen? I bet you were, I know. <laughs> Mate, we were on the we were on the we were on the plane singing Davies here <laughs> for ten in a row. <laughs> Mate, and I go back to the newspaper. The newspaper. It was in the newspaper the next day, and Davies agent was phoning him like, "What's this I'm seeing in the newspaper?" And uh, he had to get a flight home early because he was signing with Celtic. But mate, it was uh, it was brilliant. I was buzzing for him. Like Aye. that's a life changing move. Yeah. Was that before they found the Aye, problem? So, I was. So was he devastated when that? Oh, like, mate, I think everybody felt sorry for him. Yeah. Um, but the fact that he's got that mental strength to get himself back fit and then get the move to Celtic again, and then the career he's having just scored against Rangers, yep. like. Take my hat off to him, like that must did, have been. Did hard. he know though when he got that injury that did they say if you get fit we'll we'll take you? Or was it a case of no, that's it done? And then he had to get fit and then prove his cell again? I think he always knew Celtic would be there. I'm not hundred percent sure, but he was confident in his own ability. Yeah. So I don't knew. think he got back fit and played many games in Motherwell before Celtic actually right. right. so signed him again. So it must think, have been a case uh, of you get yourself fit, we're gonna take you anyway. Aye. Definitely, and he got himself fit, and uh, speaks for himself now. Eh? He's flying. What was that dressing uh, dressing room like at Motherwell? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, carnage, mate. Oh my god! Did you, bro, sorry, were you? Um, see, when you went to Motherwell, were, were you with the first team, or was it with the youth? Uh, so when I first went, it was with the Rezies, and uh, our team was a joke. Eh? Was that Jake Hastings that? Aye. So we got to the semi final of the Iron Brew Cup that year. Uh, it was me on the right, Jake on the left, James Scott who plays with Hull, through the middle, David Turnbull in the middle of the park. Uh, what a team we had. And uh, we played Ross County at Fir Park in the semi-final. 
and they beat us 2-1. And two weeks later, the exact same team played Motherwell's first team and only beat them 2-1. So we were getting at the big lacks like, ah, we'd, we'd smash the first team and all that. We'd smash the first team thinking we would beat them. I think we got into like a friendly dub 6-0. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't the holding back, eh? So did you then, did you play for the first team? Eh, uh, nah, didn't they make my debut. Uh, I was flying when Craggs was there, like, Craggs right. loved me. And then Craggs left to take on, his, obviously, his media duties. And uh, Morris Ross came in. You got in with him, didn't you? <laughs> uh, aye, he was all right, Morris. Aye, he was all right. He's a big Rangers fan, Mo. Okay. Uh, aye, so we had a bit of the banter <laughs> with forward, Celtic aye. Rangers. And, uh, mate, he had me doing stair runs at Fort Park. What, well, I'm doing the stadium? Aye. One behind the goal? Aye. He must have been the same ones at Slane. He was catching Craggs' balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'd even up there at the same time as you. Aye, and I had training with his five at night, so I was doing like four sessions. And, uh, so I went out on loan, came back, uh, played, started half the games on loan, didn't play half the games on loan. Kind of kills you a bit once you go on loan if you didn't play, eh? Yeah. And you're no their player, so they didn't really care. But they do care about you, but if you're no playing, they're not really first because you're no their player. They would mm. rather play their own Course, players. Mate, to me, do you know what I mean? Um, and then left, went to Fleetwood on trial, Go tell, too similar, you're like the players we've already got. I was like, back cheers, game. perfect, back up the... the Who was that, Barton Nick? Uh, Joey Barton was the Joey manager. Barton. What was he like? Well, he was in Portugal when I actually went down. <laughs> so it was... Uh, Joey Barton phoned him up, come in here, look at you, he's not holding. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thanks, you know, thanks. Yeah, uh, son, don't phone us, we'll phone you. <laughs> <laughs> Never get back in touch, man. <laughs> I'm sitting waiting on the phone. So basically, after I came back up the road, everybody had their budget spent because England starts a bit later. But I took that gamble. So I signed with Annan and then I was at Annan for like four months and then Cove came in. Paul Hartley was the manager at the time. Uh, Bought you, didn't he? Aye, most Biggest expensive trans. league two what was, it, what was the fee? I actually don't know. I just see that to bam, bam the boys up. Um, <laughs> Who was the manager there, sorry, did you say? So where did you go Paul through? Hartley was Paul the Hartley. So you went through Cove? What was Cove? he like? Sorry, Kev. He, well, he gave me a three-year deal. So the plan was to go full-time with Cove Rangers, but then nobody knew the Covid and that came. Watched them three times and then just released them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was there two years and then we, I started up my business and I just wanted to get back down the road, All to right. be honest with you, because we were leaving at one o'clock on a Tuesday, Thursday. Um, it was nae good. Because I couldn't work like on a Tuesday, Thursday, because we were meeting at Newbridge at ten past two, so I was having to leave my work at lunchtime to go for the bus, and then you wouldn't get home till like yeah. half nine at night. So I'd done it for like a year, and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. Eh? So I tried to get out, and I eventually got out at Cove, but they were wanting money for me at the start way. But then uh, Paul Hartley fought my case, like she's like he's got Did a great he? attitude and that. Oh, I take my hat off, like he he helped me get out. So. Brilliant. He's probably like that. He's probably helping me. Like I get him to fuck. He's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you enjoy like the dressing room or that? Obviously, because then you fit what is different though, isn't it? and then going to a sort of men's team. Did you enjoy that? I well, I had the likes of Fraser Five in that in the changing room. Like people that have won the Scottish Cup final, so it had a lot of personality. Yeah. Um, but the Cove changing room was amazing. Like it was good. Like all the boys were friendly as hell. See, as soon as they got a swally doing that. Mental. Nuts. Were they? Absolutely carnage, aye. Were you still as loud in there? Uh, when I first went up, it was a bit different because the, you try not to go in groups, but you have the the East boys and yep. the, the Cove boys, like the Aberdeen boys, but like they were that nice, like you just, you do, you did mix in with them, but you still had to, like Semps was with me. Was he? Aye, Semps was with me. Um, oh, I've got a story for you. Hey, go about Semps. I've got a big story. For you. Here we go. Uh, this could be anything. Uh, this is this is quite bad. This one. So we were on the bus going up to Cove, and uh, I get sent his phone. I was like, "Who can we prank?" And so we searched like I can't mind the team. I think it was just let's just say Coventry, right? So I've changed the sent his WhatsApp picture to the Coventry head of recruitment, and changed the name to whoever the guy name was, and uh, I've texted my pal Regan. And I pretended that I was a Coventry guy because he was he was linked to all these English clubs. 
and he's putting in the group chat with me and my other pal, like, oh my God, they've just messaged me. Should I message that a bam up? And I'm bamming them up saying, nah, definitely message it back, mate. Like, that, that's too good to turn round. If it's a bam up, who cares? Like, you can just laugh it off. So I've organised a phone call with Regan and I'm on Semp's phone and I've put on this English accent and he's fell for it. And I've got the video on my phone, I'll show you it. And uh, so we go to training, I say, right, I'll get in contact with your agent and we'll sort something out. So we go to training, come out of training, Gordon Young pulls me and Semp's to the side. It's like, you're in big shit. And Semp's like, what do you mean? The police have just contacted Cove and Motherwell because we've impressionated that Coventry City guy and their agent phoned Coventry City to make sure that it was real. So that guy was raging, whoever he was, and phoned the police on us, <laughs> saying that we're trying to impressionate him. Impersonate him? Aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What was the end of it? So, Semps had a meeting with mother, but it wasn't even Semps, it was all me. <laughs> I was like, aye, Semps, that's what you ordered, mate, and that, chucking him right under the bus, eh? No surprise uh, there. <laughs> passed on the buck. Uh, but Semps got in shit for it, like, uh, he got a meeting with Flo and everything, like. Right, Brock, you know, obviously, you, the teams you've played with, is there any characters that stand out, mate? Um, aye, so, <laughs> one of my pals, uh, Jake Hasty. He's got a cracking touch into him. <laughs> <laughs> touch like a trampoline, man. He's like a brick wall, pass it into him, you're getting straight back off his knee. Is he a good character, though? Aye, me and Jake, we get on all really well. Like, um, we bounce off each other. Will we get him on next week? Yeah, if you get me and Jake on, you years, a we've, got, we've got some stories. I'll, I'll save the on. show. Slade, what do you think? He's been outstanding, isn't he? He has been outstanding, isn't he? Thanks, he might Max. get a promotion up to the big podcast one day. Thanks, mate. I Thanks. thought you were excellent, Brock. Brought outstanding, outstanding you going to come back mate. next week? Is that you on the normal podcast now? <laughs> I'm taking Kev's place. Ah, it's not a problem. Good to go. You can have it. <laughs> can have it. Said, unbelievable, mate. Cheers, lads. We are back with the pick 10, Frankie boy. How you doing, mate? All right? Terrible after last week. I was, I so was useless. You were tied, weren't you? I was ta tied. No, the only time you were tied, was, was it? I <laughs> tied up. <laughs> so Frankie boy, you finished tied 1,457. I'll right. be seeing okay. it in the public. They need to know how bad Aye. you've done. We are going to need a massive improvement for you, Frank, this yes. week to climb up the leaderboard. You've let the boys do, didn't you? Let the boys do. You gave me a team that played the night before. <laughs> you still got it right? <laughs> I still got it right. I went home and I read the paper. I thought you were having a laugh, didn't you? Right, Frankie That's boy, we're going to go for it this week. Right, okay. and beat everybody else. Right, we're going Here to we go. It. First game of the week. Well, there's more Sorry. Premier League clubs this time, so I've got a wee chance. First Is game of the weekend, Frankie boy, <coughs> Aberdeen versus Rangers. I'm going to go for a shock here. There you go. Draw. <laughs> you going for a draw, hey? I fancy Aberdeen because that's a big, it's a big week for, for Rangers. Aye. He acts away. Oof. I acts away. Don't come back for that, all right? Is yeah. it away? It's away, isn't it? Aye. Away, aye. Aye. Listen, Aberdeen. I just think they'll get something, you know. Great shout. Okay, Celtic Livingston. I think Celtic would be too quick for them again, especially on that surface. I think the boys at Celtic have got um, quick. Yeah, Celtic yeah. for that one. 100%. Dundee United Hibs. This could be one that nobody wants to watch, isn't it? It's one of them. Well, do you, by the way, I don't know. I think I Dundee United. Dundee United didn't. Uh, I've got a. F they need points, don't they? Yeah, they do. They need points, but I'm going to go for a draw. Draw again, oh, you're loving your draws this week, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, Kelly St Johnston. I'm going to, do you know what I'm going to, I think St Johnston did something, but I'm going to go for Kelly. The, I think they've been doing all right and not getting the results. Uh, you're mates with Dale, aren't you? <laughs> I let his tears down once, aye. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you, Ross County, Motherwell. <laughs> I'm going to go for Malky to get a home one there. I think, the, oh, Stephen Hamill though, he's flying, isn't he? Is he? Well, he's not playing though. <laughs> he's not playing, is he? <laughs> All right, I'm right, broke. Right, 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 right. I broke get beat with this one, didn't they? They've struggled a bit, haven't they? Aye, the aye. Aye, they'll beat, they'll beat Wraith Rovers though. Aye. Right, I broke. Early United's Fissel. New no, I've been playing told this is, this is top of the league, is it? Aye, top of the league clash. I'm glad somebody told me. So, I'm going to go. 
for Air United home win there, yeah. Oh, I don't know, Frank. I there. know, but that's the whole point of it. Some opinions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Inverness, Cali Fizzle versus Hamilton. I'm going to go for a home win, Inverness. There you are. Well, wait, uh, Queen's Park versus Morton. You love all these games, don't you? Why? Only coils at Queen's Park now, ain't he? See how the uh, uh, research. <laughs> Only there. But I don't know how Morton's doing at the moment, to be honest with you. I'm going to go with a draw. There you are. Draw, okay. mm -hmm. Falkirk, Alva. I've got to go with a home win, Falkirk. Big club, should be a big club. They were a big club, so I'll go for a home one. Brilliant, Frank. Yeah. That's us completed. They've picked 10. Are we going to date this week? Mm, oh, uh, aye, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All the best.